Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today you will see the exercise 10.5, part 8 of it, that is the same topic, that is the linear equations and inequations. So here, write each of the following inequations in words. So you can see this is the equation given, that is x, so this is the sine of the greater sign, that is and this is 5, so x is greater than 5. So you can write here, we have to write in words, so x is greater than 5. Here, this will be x is less than minus 2. So we will write here, x is less than minus 2. x is less than minus 7, so x is less than 7. Whenever you have like this means, here this is, this is greater than and is equal to. So we can write here, x is greater than or equal to. x is greater than or equal to 3. Again here, x is greater than or equal to minus 4. So x is greater than or equal to minus 4. This will be x is less than 7. Here again, x is less than or equal to 7. Less than or equal to, sorry, this is 15. Here, x is less than or equal to minus 3. x is less than or equal to minus 3. So the next one represents the following inequations on separate number lines. So now this here, here this says x is less than 4. And when we say x belongs, this is, this belongs to this n means when it is written capital N means it is a natural number. So you know the natural numbers always start with 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. There is no 0 in it. So what we have to do here, it is less than 4. So we don't have to include this 0. So we'll start here. Uh, less than 4 means we don't have to include 4 as well. And uh, natural number means always starts with 1. This is extra whenever we draw a number line, we write some of the numbers extra. So you will put a dot starting from 1 because in this one, 1, 2, 3. And it is less than 4 means this should not be included. So only the dot should be on 1, 2, 3. Hope this is clear because it is less than 4. X is less than 4. Now here, 3 is less than x is less than less than or equal to x is less than or, or we are just less than or equal to x and this is less than 9 and uh, again this belongs to the natural number so what will you do so natural number means you will start with 1 you will not include 0 and then we are going to put few numbers here it can be again you can extend also the numbers here but at least 9 number should be there because this is because we are going to show that it's less than 9 so now in this one, th because here e is equal to also is there, so whenever this is less than or equal to, so 3 should be included, but here it's just less than 9, so we don't have to include 9. So we'll start with 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but because that is just less than 9, there's no equal to, so we don't have to include this 9. Greater than 5, x is greater than 5, and it's a natural number. Natural number which it will start with again 1. So we'll put here 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is greater than 5. So greater than 5 means it's not equal to. So we'll start with 6. 6, 7, and so on. So you'll put a dot over here means it says that it is greater than 5 means it can be any number. So we'll put a dot that says that there are many numbers here. So but we have to start with 6. We don't have to include 5. Here x is less than or equal to 3. And this w stands for whole number. So whole numbers always start with 0, 0, 1, 2 and so on. So we will start with this 0 over here and it is less than or equal to 3 means you, equal is there so we have to include 3. So from 0 to 3. So here we are going to put a dotted. Here we are going to put a dot. Here minus 1 is less than x is 5. So what you have to do and these are the whole numbers. Whole numbers means that starts from 0. But we have here because there is no equal sign here. So what we have to do, we have to skip this minus 1 and 5. Other all numbers in between we have to write. So we'll write here minus 1 then. We, we, we are not going to put a dot on minus 1. So from 0 to 4 because we are not going to include 5 in it because there's not equal. So here all dots over here. Greater than or equal to 8 and this is the whole number. So what are you going to do? Uh, this is greater than or equal to 8. So it, you have to include 8, 8, 8, 8 here, 9, 10, and this so on, because it will be here, it will go on. 
So, but there is equal means you have to include 8 in it. These numbers are just given. You can write only one or two or you can write few numbers because we are writing a number line. Now here, see here, this I, capital I stands for the integer. So integers means always here what we have, integers means the negative as well as the positive integer. And of course, there is zero. So negative, this one, negative two, negative one, then zero, one, two, and so on. These all are the integers, means the negative as well as the positive integers and as well as the zero. So these are all the integers. So now here, three is less than X is less than eight. So there is no equal to means we have to skip this three and eight and other all numbers we have to write from in between three to eight. In between means four, five, six, seven. So four, five, six, seven. Can you see the dots over here? These numbers, whatever are here, there you can write any numbers. You can just extend these numbers from here. You can extend this number. That's up to you. Now again, this is I, integers. So what will you do? And here is given minus four. But here is not equal to. So we will start with this minus four, but that is less than. But now it is equal to. So you have to include two in it. So what will you do? Minus four means less than means you will start with minus three and you have to include two in it. Hope this is clear. All the numbers from here to here. So now again, this also is integers and this is greater than minus seven. Greater than minus seven means see here always whenever the negative numbers means the bigger numbers are the small, so the smaller ones, right? So now this is greater than means this all are the greater numbers up to here are the greater numbers. So what will you do? You will write all the greater numbers here and then you will put a dot dots because there will be many. This is less than minus three. And this uh, again, this I means it, it is the integer. So what will you do? You will write some numbers over here. It's up to you how many numbers to write. Less than minus three means here this will be minus four this end and this will be the dot dot means it will go on from here. Now draw separate number lines for the in equation. This is the range given when x belongs to w means here you have to include the zero that is the whole number. Always this whole number starts with zero. So now but you have to see the range in between this one. So what is that given here? Minus two is less than or equal to x is this means you have to include both these numbers. So what will you do here? Minus two. But since it's a whole number means it will start we don't consider these negative numbers but it starts with zero so these are just written here so we have started from here zero because it's a whole number zero one, even if it is given here minus two but that doesn't come in the whole number so we don't have to include this one just we have written this one so we didn't put a dot over there so always it will start so this is a very important step always you will start from zero even if the range is given here so zero and then the last number is going to be three. So from zero to three here dots. And again, you can write here whatever the numbers you want. But this is just written here. You don't have to look at the numbers over this one. These all are the natural numbers. Again, the range is going to be the same, this range. And the natural numbers start with one. So you are going to start from here. Even if you write these numbers, you are going to start with one. So this is up to three. So dots are up to three, starting from one. Here the integers. So now here the integers are given means you can include all the numbers negative as well as the positive ones. So now you can look at the ranges minus two to three. So now you can include here minus two because it is equal to and till three. You can put all the numbers. So this of this part is clear to you. Solve the in equations and represent the solution set on a number line. So this is the equation given. So you have to solve this one and that you have to put it in number line. So this is the equation given and this again, this is, this are the, this is the, it belongs to the natural number. So first let us solve this one. So X minus five. So what we can do here, X, we can keep on one side. This is as it is. So this is also one here. If you bring this minus five on this side, that is going to be plus five. So X is less than six. So now because it's a natural number means it is going to be starting from one. So see here from one to but it is less than six means you have to stop at five. So one, two, three, four, put the dots over here on this line. Now look at here. This is the equation given and they are the natural numbers. And stands for natural numbers means starting from one. So now let us solve this equation first. This is going to be the same. Same thing is written here. 
Now this three x will be the same. Here this will this and this is going to be the same. This will go up. That is going to be minus two. So this will be this will be twelve. So x is going to be twelve, and this is divided by three. So that x is greater than or equal means less than or equal to sorry. That is four. So now what will you see here? Less than or equal to four, and that is the natural number. Natural number means it will start with one. So we don't have to. We have to include four in it because it is equal. So we'll go from year to year four. So one, two, three, and four. So now this is the equation given. Natural numbers. So x plus seven. This is given here. So this x, this this will be here. Plus seven will be minus seven. So x. This is going to be plus five. Means that is going to be five. So here less than or equal to five. So what will you do? Because it's a natural number, you will start with one. So up to five because there is equal to sign also. So from one to five. So here we have to skip this part. We can try to write this one. Sorry. Yeah, up to five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So now here, this is the equation given, and this is a whole number. So whole number means it will start with zero. From let us solve the equation first. So this x will be as it is. This will be as it is. So plus minus this will be minus five. So x is going to be less than two. So here, what will you do? Because it's the whole number, it will start with zero. So we have to start with zero. And this is less than two means we don't have to include two up to one. So zero and one. We don't have to write here. So we'll put here two dots. Again, these are the whole numbers. Now first, let us see the equation. This is the equation same written here. Two x will be this will same. This is same. Minus three is going to be plus three. So this is the same. This is the same. This is going to be six. So x is going to be six, and this is multiplication. So it is going to be divided. So this will be three. So x is greater or equal to three. So now, greater or equal to three means what will you do here? You will take equal to three means you will take three also, and it is greater than greater than. You can just put some points, and then you are going to put your dot dot. That means it will go on. So here are the points, and then you will put a dot dot means it it is going to go on. Again, this one, and this is a natural number means you have to start from one. So now let us solve this equation. Same thing is written here. So now this x will be greater than this two as it is. This is going to be plus seven. So this is going to be greater than nine. So greater than nine means you you will start with ten, eleven, and you are going to put a dot dot. So that means it is going to go on. Now here, this is i. I means integers. Integers means you have to take positive as well as the Negative integer. So you will start with this in uh, because there is no equal to sign over here. So what will you do? You will skip this minus three and two. So in between that numbers you have to write. So it will start with minus two, minus two, minus one, zero, and one. So you have to not in, you don't have to include that minus three and two. So you will put a dot over here. Now this is again an integers. So here what will be there? Ha. Huh. Here there is equal to sign. So you have to include these both numbers. So now what will you do? Uh, you will include these both numbers. Means see here minus two to two. So all you are going to put your dots. Here you can write as many numbers both the sides as you wish. So here integers. So again what you have to do? Here is not equal to means you don't have to include this one, but this should be included because there is equal to sign. So you will start uh, this before number will be minus two. So from minus two to one because you have to include this one. So Dots over here, and here you can put as many numbers as you like. Again, here can you see there is no equal to sign? So what you have to do? You you don't have to include this three and seven. In between that numbers is going to be four, five, six, and this all integers here. So four, five, and six. So you will put a dots over here. So by this one you have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of other parts. Thank you.